Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lionel Lines, the number 2023120 starter set. This starter set was released in Lionel's uh, Volume 1 2020 catalog. The uh, 442 locomotive has uh, quite a bit of a history uh, with Lionel. They've been, they've been making this, this locomotive for decades. I don't know when the first year they released it was, but here's a picture of the locomotive from a 1972 Lionel catalog that I have of this, of this engine. So you can get an idea. They've been making this engine for a while. So this set comes with the uh, typical 40-inch uh, by 60-inch oval fast track loop. The locomotive is a Lion Sheaf locomotive, comes with a remote. It comes with a uh, Santa Fe boxcar, which is quite bright, a ar bright orange color. Comes with a coal dumping car that you can activate with a uncoupling track, which I ended up buying. Uh, for this little setup here in my attic. And then there's a uh, caboose that lights up. It also comes with three billboards that you can interchange. Uh, you can flip them around and there's different uh, pictures uh, on, the, on the opposite side so you can change them if you want. There's the, uh, the bin that holds the coal when you want to dump it. Uh, there's the bag of coal. And then there's a, uh, the Lionel, the, the standard Lionel girder bridge that um, I haven't assembled yet, but it comes with screws and a metal plate and the two uh, girders that say Lionel on it. The locomotive is your standard line chief locomotive. It can be, it comes with a uh, handheld remote. It can also be operated via um, Bluetooth or the uh, universal remote. I'm a fan of these 442 locomotives. I like them because they're inexpensive. You can buy them uh, pretty cheap on eBay. And they're just fun little runners that can, you know, pull a decent amount of cars. Not, it's, the engine's really not that heavy, so it can't pull too many cars, but it's a fun little uh, running engine. And um, I like the 442 so much that um, I actually have eight of them. Uh, one of which you've seen in my Christmas video, the Winter Wonderland uh, 442. And then also, uh, believe it or not, I have a second 442 1900 uh, locomotive. Uh, here's a short clip of it running on my old 4 foot by 8 foot uh, attic uh, layout. So when Lionel released this starter set, uh, I knew I had to have this. So starting with the locomotive, um, you know, this, this locomotive doesn't have all that many uh, details on it. It's a, you know, an entry level locomotive. All I can say is, you know, these engines over the decades have not changed. Uh, all of my 442s that I have pretty much look the same way as this. Really, the only separately applied detail is the bell on top. Um, of course, these engines come with uh, puffing smoke. Uh, the smoke only comes out when the engine is moving. It's not fan-driven. You've got the 1900 numbers on the, on the cab. Here's a better view of the cab. They uh, have two figures inside the uh, cab. These engines have not always come with cab figures. Uh, some of them some of them do, but um, some of them over the years do not. Uh, this one does. Here's the tender. It just says uh, Lionel Lines on it. So this is Lionel standard 027 boxcar. It's got the sliding door here that opens on both sides. Uh, the trucks are not they are not spring-loaded. Uh, the orange is actually very, very bright. And it's got a separately applied handbrake wheel in the back. Here's the uh, coal dump car. It has the Lionel lines underneath, safety first. It's got the Lionel symbol on the left, and it says uh, dump car. And then you've got the separately applied brake wheel in the back. And when you 
position this car directly over the middle of the uncoupling track and activate the uncoupling track, the car will dump the coal, It'll the, the bin will actually tip to the side and dump the coal into the, uh, into the tray, the black tray. Okay, last but not least, this is um, another one of Lion Lionel's standard cabooses that they've been making for a long, long time. Uh, this just says Lionel Lines with the Lionel symbol on it. The locomotive is red. Um, and inside it lights up, but unlike the old version cabooses, this caboose has uh, LED lighting inside. So the light is actually more white in color. I've got some old cabooses. I have some MPC era cabooses that because the light is incandescent, it's more of a yellowish color. And this is a brighter white color. Uh, one thing that is interesting about this caboose and a nice feature that um, I think prevents the lighting from flickering when you get um, when you're going over uh, turnouts, you get actually two pickup rollers on this caboose, one for each truck, so you get a little bit of power redundancy, which is which reduces the flickering of the uh, of the lights. So it's a, it's a uh, nice touch. Okay, now I'm going to give you guys a little running session and show you what this train uh, looks like running around my attic layout. Lionel Lines is on the job. Let's get this train made up. Lionel Lines here. 
some of my final thoughts on this set are that, um, you know, this is a good little set. I think this is good to, uh, for someone who wants to get into the hobby. Uh, it's got some cool features. Uh, it's, it's not as fancy as some of Lionel's other starter sets. This is a pretty basic set, but again, I like it because of the 442. That's just my, um, my preference. You know, the engine, the engine, uh, the, the only thing, the only drawback I have about this locomotive is that, and you probably noticed it in the video, when you try to start the locomotive from a stop and you try to move it forward, it jumps. It doesn't start very uh, smoothly. It just jumps, lurches forward. Uh, that's probably my biggest uh, grievance about this engine is that it doesn't start uh, very smoothly. Uh, even with the uh, Bluetooth app, it, it kind of, jumps a little bit i think with the bluetooth app it doesn't uh do it quite as as much as the uh as the remote that's really my only annoyance but i i like the uh one thing i really like about the locomotive is the uh, whistle i like that uh that kind of whistle none of my other locomotives have that sounding whistle so i like that part uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this review on this starter set um, i know that i will be enjoying it for years to come Message me if you have any questions, comments, leave your feedback. I always appreciate that. Until next time, take care.